sweating. You're sweating. I would look good. I was pretty good too. I was um, gonna put one of these together that way I could feel the bottom. Yep. Dude, I don't even see the honey. Is this quick deep quick? Wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I can see the bottom right here. Yeah, that could be alright. Funny story, I didn't even know that thing was banded until I brought it back and my uncle's buddy seen it. Really? He <laughs> just brought it back? It was the heat of the battle, man. Yeah, I was yeah, running was back and <laughs> I got and everybody's yelling, stop! I'm like, what? 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 So I stop and I look down and he's got two bands. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, <might> <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're setting up on a public pond and we've never hunted here. So we finally have a decent wind, maybe northwest. And yesterday there was no wind, so it was a little slow. But we'll see what happens. We've never hunted here and kind of excited to see what, what goes on. So. Should we kill him? First step's always the hardest, dog. Put him up. Put him up. That's like uh, I kind of thought it was like Gaddy or Wiggins. First time I ever did it. I just had a fan on a stick. The deer are dying this morning, boys. People shooting or what? Yeah, you can't hear them. Uh -huh. Shoot them. I've heard like five or six of them already. Which way? Uh, some down here and some off to the north too. <laughs> She wanted in pretty bad. Yeah, <laughs> we got wind. That's what I'm saying. I feel like it's gonna be one of those deals where they're coming this way. Yeah. And they're just gonna. That didn't take real long, did it? No. You know? <laughs> I don't. I don't count them. Oh yeah. Okay. No, no band. band. Got right <laughs> in the chin. <laughs> <laughs> BBC the beak too. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
spot there. I'm just gonna, I just don't know if I can. No, no. I feel like it's not. Keegan, that's what I got for on my last bus. All right, so we called it quits. It's about 11.15. Didn't see a lot for birds. Um, was kind of hoping that later on in the morning there was going to be more migrators coming through, and it, they really didn't. Uh, we killed two mallards, and that's it. But it's pretty slow again. Um, we haven't hunted this body of water, so we didn't really know what to expect. But, yeah, didn't see a whole lot. So not the best day, but it is what it is. I'm Keegan Barker. Um, I'm a senior here at Wayne State. This is actually my last weekend of college. Um, I'll be graduating with a major in criminal justice and a minor in pre-law. And my waterfowl experiences at Wayne State were we kind of came in, me and one of my friends from Western Nebraska at home, and we didn't really know anybody else that waterfowl hunted. And we kind of ran into some friends and got in with them. And we got a pretty good group of us together to hunt every weekend. Growing up, I always uh, wanted a black lab to hunt waterfowl with, and I could never talk my mom into buying me one. So it would be sophomore year, I found Avian on sale, and I decided that I had the money, and I didn't really have a place to keep him. He wasn't supposed to be in the house that we were in, but we snuck him in anyway and made it work. And looking back, it's definitely one of the best purchases I've ever made. I would not trade him for a million dollars. I mean, when I first got him, I wasn't real sure how I was going to get this dog to do what I wanted him to do. I mean, I'd never trained a dog before and just repetitions out hunting and he's turned into a, a really great dog. I, I've been around quite a few dogs and he's definitely one of the best. So if I was going to talk to somebody about getting a dog in college, I would definitely tell them to spend the money and get a good one. But then, I mean, it's all about spending time with them and repetitions, like practicing in the backyard, just training, training, training. Anything you can use, wings off birds that you killed in the previous years, feathers, scents. So this weekend, uh, we've been trying to get these guys um, a good weekend to come down. And we're kind of running low on weekends. This is kind of the last one that would work for both of us. And I mean, it wasn't ideal weather. A lot of the birds are still up in South Dakota and we haven't really got a push recently. So our birds that are, are here are kind of stale. I mean, there's a few around, but they're pretty tough to work with. Uh, for the rest of the season, I'll actually be leaving here this next week and going back home. So I'll be hunting a lot of geese and heated pits and layout blinds and maybe every once in a while I'll get another duck hunt in over water. Um, after college, once I kind of get established and get a good income me and one of my buddies from back home my roommate Tristan Holly I'd like to we've kind of talked about getting a lease he knows a guy down on the river and he's told us that if we wanted to lease it from him we could just put some money together and get it from him so I think we want to get that and then build a like a cinder block or a metal pit in there and something just solid that'll last a long time <laughs>